Starting off this morning, getting the liquids in. We've got a green juice that Lucy made, black coffee for me, espresso for Lucy, and another green juice. And we're watching a Ian Olsen vlog. If you do not watch this guy, his vlogs are insane. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Pretty yeah, good. you good? What have you been um, up to? <laughs> what are you up to? I'm eating my usual. You guys probably know it by now. Delicious. I'm not being weird being sat here in a bikini. We, I'm wearing this as underwear today because I'm going to put a dress on. We've got something to do this morning and we're going to the beach later. So that's why. And I'm a bit hot to put anything else on at the moment. We have, oh, not we. I. I have an appointment this morning. Oh, see what you did there. See my, what you did there. My, my last Optimax appointment. Well, hopefully it's my last. If it's all good, it's my last. If they need to see me again, it's not good. For your laser eye surgery. Thanks. We need to get going. Is it? Can we stretch that? Wait, I've done it wrong again. Lucy, we don't have time for the train, is there. <laughs> Made it to the train station on time. One minute delay. Oh, That's it. This heat wave is continuing, guys. One more look at my watch for the temperature. That'll be good, let me tell you. 20. Oh, it's 20 degrees. It feels like about 30, doesn't it? It's 26, 27 on Saturday. I love it, can't complain. So if you haven't seen of the video a few weeks ago, Lucy got her eyes lasered by, was it? Blimey, yeah. time flies. By Optimax in Hove. And she's needed, I mean, you could be telling this story, but I'll happily tell it for you. I've told it so many times to people, so you can tell it, it's absolutely <laughs> She fine. needs basically checkups every couple of weeks after the surgery to check, I'm out of breath. You're not really telling oh, it right. To check her eyes, to check the surgery went well, to check it's all working how it should be. But you say your vision, whoa, you say your vision is perfect now, right? Um, I More say less. my vision is very good. <laughs> that's that's good, that's good. I've had, well they said before I had it done, I'm more at risk of having, like you get dry eyes is one of the side effects. And I have dry eyes already, well had dry eyes, so they're kind of extra dry now. So I do wake up sometimes in the morning and my eyes are like stuck together, but you say you get that anyway. Oh so, man, when I wake up in the morning, I can't see sh Like it hurts to open them. But I'm going to talk to them about that today. Also, my eyes are very sensitive to the light now. So, like, but then again, same with you. I never used to have to wear sunglasses anywhere, but now I'm like, oh, brightness, I can't. But then again, you say you had that before anyway. So it could be that I'm now just more normal, and before I was superhuman, but which doesn't surprise me. You're going to ask them today about that. Yes, I am. There's also said because of the dryness in my right eye, they were like, oh, we'll see, like, if your vision gets better. Because basically, my right eye was the bad one before, like, really bad vision-wise and my left eye was okay. And they said that what they'll do, because it was a drier eye last time I went, which was only like a week after the surgery, they said that because it's drier, the vision's worse. They're checking up today and they were like, oh, see if we have to re-laser it. And I was like, no, you're not doing that, sorry. Oh, you don't I'm want never that. doing it again. Like it wasn't, oh, I'm happy I did it. I wouldn't say don't get it because it is so worth it, but it's not a nice experience really, having someone like clamp your eye down. Cool. and laser it. Yes, that's basically what today is, or this morning is. And then later, it's my mum's birthday in a couple of days, so we're all going down to the beach um, with Thea and my beach sister weather, and stuff. Man. It's beach weather, man. I'm really out of breath. Drop a comment where you guys live, where you're from, let us know. We want to know if you live by the sea, because we take it so for granted. We, we do, can just really. walk like five minutes from where Check. we live, and we're literally on a beach. Um, it's lucky. a stony beach, but it's still a beach. Run, 
run, run. That was lucky. Bloody awful. We made it. Yeah. yeah. So this guy asked for a flat white. The guy comes over and goes, oh, did you ask for a flat white? Yeah, he's a latte. I made the wrong one. He's like, the guy accepted it. Yeah. It's Lucy's mum's birthday in a few days, which is why we're heading down to the beach now to meet all those guys. We're going to have some lunch. What we thought would be hilarious because she doesn't really like a fuss, does she? She's the sort of person that if like, you started singing happy birthday in a restaurant, she'd get up and walk out and be like, oh, no, no, no. Like, she gets quite embarrassed. She'll probably be embarrassed of me saying this, actually, so sorry. But we're gonna get her like a massive balloon from a card factory and be like, oh, happy birthday. And we get to the beach and she'll be like, oh, God. Balloon is in the bag, ready to be embarrassing. A bit later in this video, we got, um, I've had a few comments recently on this photo I put on Instagram, and I've done a few bikini-ish photos recently, like asking where I've got them all from and you guys seem to want a bit of like a bikini haul so I'm going to do that later on once we get back and just like go through what I have and where they're from and yeah, look out for it but skip a bit if you want to see it because it's not going to no, be for a little bit No, don't skip the video because before then I'm going to do um, a like swim shorts haul as well no, I'm going to try them all on You have two pairs? I do only have two pairs one of which has flamingos on it Oh, and the other one's no longer here because you left it in Bath? That is correct You have one pair? Yes I can see her Can you see her? Yeah, can you see her? Ah. Yeah, 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 you're good. It's, it's hidden. How do I get in? I mean, the, the huge camera might give it away. Should we do some more sandcastles? Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Lunch was insane. Beach, burger, can't beat that. I didn't have a beer, I nearly said beer, but I didn't have a beer. We're currently building some sand castles and chilling, it's such a nice day. Thea's made some masterpieces. It's like she knew I would film me that. Right, let me sit down and show you how you have a sand castle. <laughs> It's hot and we're wearing any sun cream, so I'll show you guys what I look like later. Oh my god, this sunburn. What have I done? Ridiculous. What is that shape? Summer is the best season. If you're one of those people who like winter, Nah, summer. It's got to be summer. I do like winter as well. I can appreciate winter. Yeah, I can appreciate the cosy really nights. Sort of pointless. Yeah, I would like it if it just went summer to winter. They are so yeah. pointless. Autumn's okay. Halloween and all that. You guys should do a TED talk. <laughs> then the collection so we're back from the beach now i'm really sunburnt i hope you can s oh my god bloody hell i'm the same color as this top oh wow oh god i didn't think it was that bad so i'm going to show you now my collection of bikinis i've accumulated some this summer some last summer and some a few summers before but i like cling on to everything and i never throw things away just in case so i'll start with my most recent yeah, it's my most recent purchase and it's my current absolute favourite. It's a bit of a weird material, but I'm obsessed with the fit and the colours and the whole pattern of it. So it's this one here. It's from Misguided. You can see here. It looks weird on the camera, but it's basically like a spongy kind of foam here and here. And it's all like laced together with this like rope with elastic in all these different colors and it doesn't have any clips or anything at the back it's literally just like you chuck it on your head and that's it i think that's the reason i find it so like comfy and nice because there's no like buckles or anything it's just like really nice and easy um, and i think it was only like 12 pounds or something it was really cheap these are the bottoms and they're not like i don't like bottoms that are too big so maybe that ideally be a tiny bit smaller than this but it's not too bad and it like I don't like it when it covers your whole bum up, I like a bit of bum out, because you'll probably know that if you follow me on Instagram. The next one is a swimsuit, and it's from Primark. I remember showing you guys this when I actually bought it, but it's £2.50, I think, or £3.50, and it's this swimming costume that's got, like, flamingos on it and palm trees, and I like the fit because it's kind of, like, 
a little bit low here and it's got like a nice scooped back as well and again I love the colours of it it's a nice fit quite thin so it's quite good like when it's really hot when you don't want something the other one's quite like chunky and it's a bit like full on this one's very thin and nice when it's really warm weather my go-to is this red one which is also Primark and I really like the fit of this one because it's like a slight tiny little bit of padding here but because of the shape of it because it's like how would you explain it so if we took this one for example that's like padding but it's all just like Mm, in its in itself this one's more like rigid so it just like holds you really well and because it's halter neck as well it kind of pushes your boobs in a bit and it's got this nice like netting along the side it's just a really nice fit and i like that it's like a double strap here as well and the bottom of this one i like don't love i like the front of them i don't like the back of them the front's like the netting again the backs maybe i don't, I don't know i just have a i just don't get on with like like i don't wear like knickers I prefer like a thong type bikini but then I guess it's not always appropriate so it is good to have this like as a standard bikini as well but if this came with like a smaller bikini bottoms that would be the ideal this one is from River Island I don't have any other ones this kind of shape it kind of just goes all the way along and it's just got this nice little lace up bit at the front and it's a double cross again which goes around and it's got the little gold clips on the back and I like the, f the shape of this one the bottoms are the same pattern and it's kind of like a thicker material so again it, you feel a bit more like supported it's not like the little side bits are like lace up and they're gonna fall off and these have got like like strings like lines of material um, and that's them there and I just I don't know I like the color of that one now this one if you've like so it's really bright this light is really bright I feel like I'm squinting I'm moving you again this one is like the most extra thing you've ever seen in your life it's like gold swimsuit <laughs> Oh, what am I actually doing? I think I've actually got like the sun's done something to my head and I'm not with it at all. So anyway, this one is like gold. It's got like yellow inside, like the lining, and then it's gold. It's like plungy at the front. It's like low on the sides. It's high on the back. It's like, it's a bit of a joke really. Like you wouldn't wear this one around family. And that is from Pretty Little Thing. Now I love khaki kind of colors. This one is a khaki and it's got like padding. It's kind of like a bra at the top, I suppose. And then it's just like halter neck. Like that. Um, and the bottoms are, can you imagine if these had my boobs look this high up? Bikini bottoms, this is like a thong bikini which is my ideal and I like them a lot and um, there's also the same this range from this is misguided there's a black bikini bottoms exactly the same which I've got but then I went for a slightly different top it's like I like this one it's like crossover so I will put this one over when I'm wearing again just, it's, it's a nightmare to put on so you've got to put this bit here I feel like there's an easier way to do this but this is how I've always done it like that look I'm going like the backpack on one here here and you can go tie it round and like that's it and it's like got the I can't get my burnt arm it's like crossover basically so you can see it's kind of like Ooh. I haven't I'm gonna shower in a second do you ever find that when you're sunburned and you jump in the shower that you get out and you're like why am I red like I feel like the sunburn always looks way worse after your shower why is that is it because you get hot in the shower and it makes it redder I'm having a cold shower I'm not having a hot shower I'm too hot I feel like I've gone through loads but I've got quite a few more down here to go through I bought this one for George and I's first cruise. 2016 or 2015 maybe. Yeah, 2015. This is old and it's a bit green now actually. It's just a really basic white plunge with a little line here and a low back and it's just a classic. It's a very good go-to and I've got a nice like caftan I wear with it with like beads on and it just looks good. I kind of showed this one earlier. This is like i describe it as like an old school, like a classic, tied around your neck, little triangle, tie around your back bikini. I like it because it's got little palm trees on and the bottoms are really, really simple and exactly the same as the top. Just like this. I don't wear this one that much, but I do, I don't want to throw it away because I think I will wear it again. It's like this one actually. I haven't worn this one I've worn today in ages. It's like, I probably probably saw it earlier, but it's like I'm covered in sand. It's like a blue leopard print, but it's on my Instagram. So if you want to see... A full photo of it then go check it out on there and this one is from river island and it's a nice like crossover again so i'll show you this is great i can just try them all on over my clothes it's like this little gold clips here and it crosses over but yeah you get the idea and then it's clips around the back and then the bottoms are similar little gold bits on and again i just like the color of that one more than anything uh next up is this which is another swimsuit i haven't worn this in a little while because it falls down this is something you'd plonk into a hot tub in i wouldn't recommend doing a cross channel swim because you'll be flashing everyone or all the sea creatures anyway um it's like this 
with a little lace up on the side but as you can like there's nothing there's nothing to stop it from hot staying up at all so you want to be like oh excuse me just getting the hot tub like in this one that's that's it that's all this one is for don't go in the sea and that is river island i think even though i've cut the label out because it's probably itching me why there's so many the next one is a black plunge but it's not got the um cross thing at the front like the other one did it's just like simple at the front but what i love about this one is the back is like a t so you can see it goes across and then down your back is just like a really thin black line that goes to your bum and it's a little bit higher at the back like it's not quite as big and this one is from asos oh, i don't remember buying this from asos did i buy it i did buy it that was for the caribbean cruise um and then these i cannot remember for the life of me where i got these from which is irritating but if you have if you're on holiday if you've eaten too much or if you're if you're here in the uk and you're like oh i'm not feeling great these are your bestest friend in the world they're high-waisted but i've always found with high-waisted that like you can still see like a stomach like sticking through because it's like a lighter color the fact that these are black it hides everything it sucks you right in and it's like high the back i wore these in miss brighton actually yeah i wore these with the crossover black bikini in miss brighton so you can do like a bit of a mix and match and these are like so good because you wear them, hang on, where are we? It's like that. And that's how high up it goes. So literally like that's the only gap there's gonna be. And it just means that like they're good at covering up food if you don't want people to see everything you've eaten. I like, if I eat a meal, I feel like I bloat like that. Very obvious that I've just had a huge dinner. That is the end of my bikini haul. If you have any bikinis you've bought recently or you've seen any that you love or that you think I should buy, then send me a message because I'm always looking to find new bikinis. Thank you for all the nice comments as well on my Instagram post of bikinis on, that's why I've kind of done this little haul because you guys have just been asking like where I buy them and like when and if it's sale or if it's not. A lot of the bikinis I buy are in the sale. So hopefully if you love some of the more recent ones, you'll still be able to find them, but some are in the sale because who doesn't love a bloody sale? George and I have got fajitas for dinner. So we're gonna make them in a sec. And then we've got a few more emails to get through after the beach earlier we went to slug and lettuce and worthing got a quick drink and just sat and bashed some emails out for a little bit which was really good we were saying earlier like i feel like if you're let me just put these back hang on if you're like out and about or you're like in a coffee shop or in a bar i'm so much more motivated to actually do something because if i'm sat at home i'm like oh my bed's next to me like i find it hard to actually crack on with stuff so i don't know about you guys but i love like going out somewhere to do my work which is what we did earlier um and then we fall back from the beach obviously i've gone through this now i don't know i'm just rallying off my whole day to you because you've actually been with us for most of it but um yeah for heats for dinner and then we're gonna watch red sparrow we watched the new i've got oh, sorry i really can't stop talking does anyone else make themselves out of breath from talking i'm like blah, 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 and then i need to like sit down for an inhaler for a bit we watched the new tomb raider the other day which i absolutely we both absolutely loved well actually george fell asleep for half of it we're watching red sparrow tonight and um, which i'm super excited about because i wanted to watch that when it was out in the cinema i can literally feel my back burning so much dinging i need some aloe vera aloe vera on that back of mine lost the world to live right thank you for watching i think i'm going to end it here george and i'm ending it he's just in the other room editing some pictures for instagram but i'm going to end it now thank you so much for watching basically all i'm going to say is on the 12th of August, you guys are finding out our main secret project they've been working on for months. As in, obviously we had the TV show, we had podcasts, we had the website before that. Like we've been giving you like little announcements. This is the announcement. This is the one that you wanna watch. I'm so bloody excited. Like honestly cannot explain how like big this is for us. This is main sound, but sound big headed, but like it's, it's massive. Like I'm, I, ugh keeping it in and not telling you guys all over twitter and instagram and youtube is killing us like we need to tell you soon but there's a good reason to wait so 12th of august make sure you're subscribed to us to see what on earth i'm talking about give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and like i said subscribe if you're new and then you can see what we're up to thank you and hello to all the new subscribers we've had recently we're very close to 6,000 when we're um, putting this we're filming this but i don't know when this one's going live as to whether we'll be at 6k or not when it is live hello to all the new subscribers from freya's channel and um, we've uploaded the podcast with her yesterday and we've had quite a few more subscribers come over from that so thank you to all the new watchers the new watchers the new viewers the new juicers as we like to call you as you like to call you actually you guys came up with that anyway thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye